Not just K-pop anymore, Great Korea. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to Chimo Chills. Look at the Korea, the Korea we have created. Name placement could be a lot better, I'm not gonna lie, but that's okay. We've started absorbing Korchun, and I'm sure that that'll be improved and it'll be a nice, beautiful Korea across the land. Besides, we have lots of conquering still to do. I was originally thinking of going after Oirat this episode, and Oirat did break free. You see there, they are no longer a subject nation. Now I'm thinking, unless Ming invades Oirat to try to re reset them as a tributary, I don't think I'm going to inv invade Oirat this episode. Instead, I'm going to allow my manpower to, to recover a little bit. I've managed to get it up to 14,000. And I'm going to try to have an easier war. I'm going to invade and expand my uh, my Majapahit, my newest subject nation, who I just picked up last nation, uh, last episode. I'm going to try to expand him and save my admin points so I can... Uh, what do we want with that? I want to take this next economic idea group and then, then I'll have to get the next two levels so I can get the level 10 idea group as well. Which I have not decided what I'm going to do. I was thinking trade for that money, for the buckets of ducats, but I'm open. I could go diplomatic or influence with all the subjects I have. I could go with quality for the better units. Again, I am open. I have not made up my mind on that. So that is definitely where we're going with this. You boys are training. You're sitting there fine. What is our force on that? We're building up. <laughs> okay, let's build two more thousand there. And let's say two cannons on that island as well. And then the rest will just be infantry. And down in the south here, I'm just waiting on... Okay, a couple other things. I am currently... I seize this land from Korchin. I need it for a mission. When I have this place cored up, I can pop another mission. It's going to give me cheaper development costs. And I'm going to start... Uh, I will start devving up for colonialism. Right next to my capital here in Suwon. I'll, I'll show you why Suwon and not Guangzhou instead. Because Guangzhou is slightly cheaper. But there is a method to the madness. Let's get you training... Sikoko, failed rains, local tax modifier, and some devastation. Feels bad, man. Okay, so I have a mission done. I was saving it. I was saving it for episode start so we could see it together. It's defeat the Shogun. Well, yeah, I captured the Chrysanthemum Throne. The capture of the Chrysanthemum Throne. With the fall of Kyoto, the Japanese Shogunate lies in ruins. The Korean troops have entered the city and systematically sacked it. Finally, releasing the pent-up animosity built up over generations of conflict between Korea and Japan as the city's survivors weep and cower. So what is it? What do we got here? Chief among the artifacts taken is the Chrysim, the, the Chrysim Throne, upon which Japanese have sat Japanese emperors have sat since the 7th century. King Hongwei I has decreed it shall be taken to Hong Sing and be given a pride of place on display among the treasures of the Korean kingdom. All right, 50 prestige, 800 ducats. Nice, local dev cost in my capital? The whole area or just the capital? Uh, oh, it might be just the capital. Too bad that's not the whole area. Local develop development cost, minus five. That's awesome. I'm about to dev up. Oh, that's perfect. So let's use let's use some of that um, that prestige. I can pop it one more time and boom, we're back up to 86. And I got plus 15 on the uh, religious harmonization with Shinto. So that pops me up to, I want to say 39. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We like that. Okay. So you're coming up north to deal with them. I'm thinking this month we'll have enough happiness. No, they look they look ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. This month we're going to start this war. So August 1st. Yes, please. Much smaller war in the south this time. I'm going to do my best to keep it small. It's for the core, absolutely. Boom. So we'll divide you in half. Come down here. We definitely need... Uh, let's get a fine seizure on there. That'll be a nice, easy wipe on that 3,000. <laughs> These boys... You can get back to training, absolutely. 
Ah, I got no army on here. Or uh, no no leader on here. So let's get the ruler on there instead. My king. My king can lead the lead the day. We'll jump back to the south here. Okay. Now, how much do I actually need to leave here? 9,000! I gotta leave a, a sizable army over here. Hmm. In that case, I will take off everything I can. And I'll only leave 11. And I'll make an army to, to march forward. Because I, I I need the numbers. This 3,000 of my, my, uh, my subject nation, he is exposed. He can get wiped in a heartbeat. Okay, so if we have no rebels, we get prestige. That's not bad. For a workshop, we get a base production in Somjin. Or stability of three. This is the easiest. I'm going to have no rebels pretty darn quick. And the Yangban administratives will be <clears throat> will be uh, happy. Okay, let's do that. I think that's a fine choice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. One of, my, one of my leaders got it. Nice, my heir. An aggressive expansion impact minus 10%. That is a very nice one. And there is this mission done. Where are we here? Restore Gore Guru. It's another 25 prestige. Local dev cost in the whole Korean region. That is what we like. And we already have our dev bonus here. So we're going to go ahead and take that. I just want to spend some more prestige. It's 25 more I'm going to get. So I'll spend one more time. I don't know, Manila? Manila, let us placate your rulers. If I diverted your trade, it would wreck your relationship with me. So I'll divert the guy's trade who it won't wreck the relationship. Korchin, and then we want to jump into our mission. So it's at 67. We go boom, 92. That's what we like. And some other bonuses. What we really want is the uh, the conversion bonus there. Ooh, we have another mission done. And Manchuria. Monthly autonomy charge and 100 and min points. Nice. Nice. Yes, please. Thank you much. That allows us to take this yearly inflation reduction and gets a production. So that that's this is the more important, getting that inflation going down constantly for the rest of the game. That That is the more important of the two. But hey, 10% on my production, that's going to be 1.6 ducats next month. Uh, yes, please. Plus a little bonus to trade because your, your production affects your trade. Your production is what you're actually trading. So the more of your production you're making is the more you can trade downstream as well. So depending on where that production is being made will affect how much. I, I And I won't pretend to be... Um, an expert at the, the trade system. I'm really not. I understand it enough to use it. And, and that's all you really need. You don't have to. Who cares beyond that, honestly. Let's run over here to the capital. I don't know if he's just going to hide or not. Oh, yeah, he's not hiding. He's sitting up there. And Maja put seat him and turned around and ran. He's like, no way, dude. Not a chance. With my 19, he may back up. He may back up. No, but Magic Foot turned around again. Whatever. Dude. Whatever you want to do. That's this is fine. You you do you. You do you, I'll be me. We'll be fine. We're a happy family. Um so we have automatic claims on all of Japan. Korchin loves us fine. We're gonna look at Manila loves us, Brunei. Brunei could love us more. We can spend some of these trusts with Brunei. Let us do it. And there's an agenda complete. So we're, we're at 100 prestige. Why not? We'll, we'll happily sit at that 100 prestige. Uh, I want to start deving as well. So Suwon. This is why I want to do Suwon. If you look where, where the points are distributed, I have a bunch in manpower and I have a ton of Diplo to spend. Where as opposed to Guangzhou, I already have the Diplo points spent. So it's it's not how I want it. It's, it's way easier. The other bonus is Suwon is right next to my capital. So that is why we're going to dev that up. So encourage development. Yes, Suwon, capital region. Yes, please. And then open up. So colonialism, we have Nasig. Nasig! And we'll go one, two. I want to spend as much as in the military as I can first because I have so many. Look at it go! <laughs> Look at it go! And colonialism is present just like that. 37 development. We now have a sister city for our capital. 48 in our capital, 37 in Suwon. And that's going to be a big boost. I'm making 7.2 ducats a month. We'll see what this is in a moment. Let's extract the uh, the 40 ducats that I can from there. Because 40 ducats for free is, is okay with me. 
So yeah, so what did I say? 5.5? Did I not just say 7 out loud? Now it's showing 5. Okay, well 5.5 is what they're showing. That's, that's, whatever. Whatever they say, that's what it is. I'm not going to argue with them. We'll see what it is next month. Because it's going to, it's going to pop up. Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't need to be on there anymore. Let's bring you down here in training. Rebels. We have we have a bunch of rebels that are going to fire. And the easy way to look is you just go to your unrest screen. If you see unrest everywhere, okay, well, you're going to get rebels everywhere. It's going to happen. Deal with it. I've been reducing autonomy. So it is to be expected. It's not like, why are we getting so many rebels? This doesn't make any sense. Imagine put, it just ran forward and is sitting on his capital. That is, that is bold, okay? That is bold, Magiput. I just want to toss that out there. That is definitely bold. Uh, the White Elephant. We can, we can get some more trust with you. I like it. And we'll go back to Brunei, get some more trust out of you as well. And as long as I'm watching him, he's not going to run around and grab my one stacks. That's all I care. Boom. Boom. Let's get you all up together. I'm a little little surprised he's not trying to grab my one stacks. Yeah, now he's moved up. Okay, he's finally reacted. So he's not he's not his brain is working. He could be running after my um, my my eleven thousand. So I will run up to meet the boys, and that'll be the plan. We'll get well of what thirty two thousand. We'll be able to smack him away no problem if it comes to battle. I don't know if he's going to be eager to take battle. I. Don't really want to fight him at all, to be honest. I would be totally fine with going through this whole war and not having a single battle against him. We don't need to fight a single time. Uh, Brunei, that's what I want to do. I'm like, I know I want to do something with this diplomat. I'm kind of sailing around the world looking there. Yeah, there you go. This is good. This is good. So what is this? This is Grasslands, unfortunately. So he's going to go in and... Hmm. I could let him just try to take that siege back. And I could just siege down everything else he owns. I kind of like that idea. Let's carpet siege him down. Nope. <laughs> Go that way. Nope. Go the northern route. Don't run into his army. That's going to sm <laughs> smash you away. Yeah, and he locked going east. We're fine. I'll carpet siege him down. We already have 14%. Majaput, you stay on this siege. Don't leave, Majaput. Stay right there. You can assign your, your uh, subject nations to, to focus on. Sometimes the AI brain just goes like, I'm going to focus anywhere else. And they don't listen. They don't work all the time. But when it works, it works 100% of the time, all the time. 50% of the time. Something like that. All right. We know these rebels are going to be popping. We want them all to pop off now. Uh, Ming Menace. Manila. Manila can like me more. Let's have you improving relations there. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll happily renew that monopoly. I'm going to stick the whole army on there. I want to win this siege, so that's why I'm sticking the whole army on there. Uh, we're going to detach all the cannons. So Actually, I'm going to take... Maybe everything but 6,000. They're going to be just there to siege. We're going to come pick a fight. Or at least scare them back. Scare th Hey, that was quick. <laughs> okay, we'll scare them back in a hurry. That was uh, that was very nice. I don't think... I have 99% war score, but I want to give these to Majaput direct. So I have to run back over there and take back possession of them. But whatever, not a big deal. Not a big deal, we say. Now you're on a fort, so I'll, I'll give them one more month to get their morale back up. No need. There's no need to take extra losses for literally no reason whatsoever. Now I won't be able to transfer this ownership. That's okay. I'll just give it to give it to them right after. But I will do all these direct. Majaput. See, Majaput has cores on all these. That's why I want to uh, um, give them direct. Now I don't know. In old patches of the game, you got increased aggressive expansion for. Because I, because I didn't co-belligerent them, um, Sunda in this war. I was actually attacking Palambang. I'm not sure if that's changed for this patch. Let's find out right now. Um, 
All right, those ones are fine, and it's only nine. Yeah, there you go. That's okay with me. How high can we get that? 87, 81. 87 is obviously higher than 81. And some Ducats. And the Ducats. That's a fine deal with only 13 aggressive expansion. Off you go. Majapet grows. Oh, it feels good. Now I can do these direct to Majapet. Now that's not a problem. Boom, boom, boom. You can go straight to Majapet. Does he get away? What happened there? Hmm. I don't know what happened there. What if I attacked Bali as well? Oh, that would call Sunda right back into it. That would call Sunda right back into it. Now, I would like to actually declare on on Ming as opposed to... to and I want to see... Yeah, so I'm going to focus on Ming rather than continuing in the south. I think the, the Ming Menace must be my, my number one opponent. These boys will take them out. No more rebels in Japan at the moment. Boom, yes please. And we want our 100%. One, two. And all the cash. Off you go. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Our navies can grab our army and bring them on north. Hmm. How much attrition are we taking? 27. That is a uh, more than needed, but it's only going to be for one month. So whatever. I do want to make sure that these guys aren't taking more territories than they need to. <laughs> yeah, he got Young John before I got to him. So be it. So Zhenju, Orochoro, Moro. No, actually, the, the Japanese islands are not immediately going to fire. Except like Nanbuan. Oh, you're not even on Japan. I'm totally... Oh, it's in the, the northern part of Japan. So this army is not needed here. I'm going to bring him to the mainland. Because it is Ming. It is the number one great power of the world I am preparing to attack right here. As like a second as, as a second war for this episode. You know, I'm just going to attack Ming. As you do. Let's get all the way up here to Sulu. I think I can get to Sulu in one shot. Do do do. Yes, I can. No problem. Let me get up into... Uh, Pa whatever. Northern Philippines. That's the next place we're going to go. And you might as well be training. Let's bring you up to Beijing. What is this? Mercantilism? For only a loss of 10 legitimacy? That's easy peasy. Easy peasy. So I can um, upgrade a Great Wonder. What Great Wonder? I didn't even notice what I got here. Local defensiveness and yearly prestige. Pretty, pretty nice. That 0.5 yearly prestige for only 100 Ducats. Or a correction for only a thousand Ducats. I'm I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade that building. It'll take a little while, obviously, but all good things do take. All good things do take time, right? And the boys. We're gonna bring it right up to China. Do do. We'll stop these boys from training. Now, am I lucky enough that Ming... No, Ming is not in any offensive wars. That would be that would be the ultimate if he went and got himself into a dumb war. Oh, perfect, but we are not so lucky. Pick you up from uh, Western Japan here. And our last shipment. What I'll do is I'll combine them with that 26, and then I'll split them, and then that's my, those are my three army groups. And we're gonna I'm I'm feeling the the best strategy would be to keep on this east coast because he's got a pile of dev coming down and, and a bunch of uh, centers of trade and whatnot so I'm thinking I conquer down this way hurt his economy he'll start getting some rebellions and then I start pushing in because he's got more mountain regions and mountain forts in here that's that's the strategy so far we'll see all strategies only last like this is a mountain fort. I don't know if I want to go right onto it or not. I'm tempted to take it. It's a good first fort, and then maybe go south after that. But here is another mountain fort. So if I if I do that, I kind of need to take both of these mountain forts. Hmm. I would need all of these armies up here if that's the case. If that's what I want to do. Okay, that's that's going to be our strategy. Two mountain forts first. 
And then we come south. Okay, there we go. I like it. And then if I have to send an army up to the north, I'll have the defensive bonus in those fights. It'll be it'll be advantage me. So let's come out here. What are you doing? You're coming to this sea tile. Okay, he's locked. So I should be able to get that battle there. We're going to call in the white elephant. Beautiful. It's going to be for the mandate of heaven. Um, yeah. Now, do I have enough aggressive... Ex I have... I could join this coalition against him. I think? Where's join co I don't know if I've ever even joined a coalition. Oh, no! I, I have 50 aggressive expansion to him. Look, 50... Oh, is that him to me? I don't have that to him. Oh, too bad. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, fine. Me and the white elephant, we got it. We got it. So the, uh, the capital of Yangzhou is right down here. It's going to be a couple minutes before I get there, but I will get there, I promise. I want to get these northern forts. And let us attack just like that. All right, you're getting right onto that fort. These cannons need to get onto that fort. And the 18,000 is going to sit right here to uh, to assist either way. Mainly to act as a deterrent is what I'm hoping they'll be. But they're, uh, they're ready to assist wherever they're needed. I'm going to sit in, on this coastline, start eating their economy up. Nom, 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 nom. And uh, we want to keep spending our favors. Get Brunei. Get everyone loving us a solid hundred. That last 6,000. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go grab them. I'm going to go grab them. Let's go, boys. Every, every troop is needed. Every troop is precious. Every troop is sacred. And hmm, 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 those military points are so key, but I would love to just pop both these both these walls. Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? I want to take my last idea group. It gets me land attrition. Yeah, that land attrition would be pretty darn nice. I am taking attrition in all three of these all three of these spots at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and wait it out. Interest per annum. Oh, yes. What uh, what else I want to do here is switch this over to advancement. And switch this over to advancement. I should have done that right away for these areas. Because that's where it's going to be spreading out. My uh, my sweet, sweet colonialism. We, we already got on the capital. That was nice and quick. Oh, that was so fast. Love it. We're getting 1.2, 1 a month. Yeah, nice and quick. Love it. Love it, love it. So with that in mind, do I... This development cost doesn't matter at all at the moment. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my admin points. I'm going to take my next side, my uh, my next levels as soon as I can. No, no. All right. I switched back. Interest per annum. I don't need the interest per annum, but I'm just spending it for it. So it's a spent idea point. After this point, I will start uh, taking those levels. The idea is that I'll be able to accept my institution by then. It's going to expand so fast over my high, high dev capital region. So that's that's why I'm doing it like that. Ayatai, you like us. Let's make you like us even more. Do -do -do, improve relations. Grab this 6,000. And it's only 6,000, so I'm, I'm a little less worried about the... Um, the attrition of sailing straight on over. So I'll just sail them right on. It would be nice if I helped out the boys here. Hit the Navy on the way up. Even though you don't nor normally want to take on naval engagements when you have troops on board. But whatever. I got such a big chonky Navy. I'm going to do it anyways. It's a, it's a show of strength. A absolute show of strength. Alright. I don't see any armies coming up here. So the strategy appears to have worked. Uh, appears to have of the whole we will send up enough troops as a deterrent and they'll just leave me the heck alone. I'm going to send another 3,000 down here and then we can grab our our two cannons. So I have another complete army ready to go. This 5,000 joins up. I like it. And now we're going to go south because Korchin's already came up. My uh, Correction, Korchin, my, my subject nation is already sieging down their capital so that's what i want to do is i want to get another army to support him we're coming buddy we're coming don't you worry Kaizu seems nice let's keep the cannons safe so I'll, I'll direct them on a more northern route 
And then cross our fingers we left enough troops up here that this is a deterrent. This 23,000, that's not a huge army to be honest. That's not a, a very scary deterrent, but 57%. Come on, win it, boys. Win it. We have a natural wall breach. We have, we have the natural wall breach and we have both. I don't care about any of these at all. Like, I, I'm going to be deleting my cavalry fairly soon. As soon as I have bonuses, like, when I fill out my Korean tree, I get infantry combat ability plus 10%. Then when I've finished harmonizing with Shinto, I'll get another infantry combat ability 10%. So when that point comes, I'm going to just delete all my cav. And then, in my next military idea group, which I'll be taking quality, we'll get another infantry combat ability 10%. So that's why Cav is useless to me. You are useless. Alright, my my heir can become Jurchen, or I have to spend admin points. I don't really want to spend admin points, but it'll give me a half-cost Diplo guy. Hmm. The question is, can I upgrade this guy? He's Korean. I can. All right, I'll take the half-cost Diplo guy, for sure. We'll upgrade him. I don't know, twice? Sounds good to me. And then we have to get a new military. Or correction, administrative. Is this guy cheaper? Is that just the full cost with my reductions? Wait a minute, it should, it should be showing me here. What? It didn't show me on... What? Okay, I'm losing my mind. Who cares? He's Korean. He has the yearly inflation reduction. The unrest would save me some rebellions. The unrest would save me some rebellions. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go with the unrest. Let's do it. Oh, I can't unru update. Oh, I can't upgrade the unrest guy. I didn't even check his culture. He's a bank. What are you talking about? Okay, whatever. He's fine for now. He is fine. It is fine. We definitely need a leader in here. Boom! Three siege. That is exactly what we're hoping for. And we'll get Huan on the way. Come on, boys. 60%. You can fall. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 60%. And I'll, I'll just start sieging my way down. Hey, I like it. I like it. So our northern wall is secured. I feel much better about that. I'll, I'll be able to divide my armies up and... and Maybe not Carpet Siege. I haven't fought him at all. He is completely intact. Like, look at these numbers. He is completely intact. He is still the Ming Menace. One of the things I have going for me is he has no Mandate of, of Heaven at all. He's got a bunch of negative multipliers on his armies. So I can't imagine he's looking to uh, come pick some big fights with me. And he's, he's picking on the, the White Elephant. Which is ideal. I don't, I don't particularly want to fight with him. I am happy with the, the white elephant carrying the uh, the workload. Here. Mm -hmm. These boys split in half. And I'll just do it like that. I'll have these armies split in half, marching their way south. Uh, is this another fort? This is another fort right there. Okay, so I, I don't have to do too much splitting. They're, they're already there, apparently. You can come around to uh, Fengyang. One, two, three, and this is the next fort I want to get to. Because it's, it's closer, obviously. I want to keep my armies as close together as possible. And this 2,000, where did you come from? Let's bring it down this way. Okay, we're good there. We have our next round of sieges sitting. We are on their coastline. I can actually divide this navy up. Ooh, I like that. I like that they're sitting up there. Let's go try to pick a fight. Let's go pick a fight. Let's go puff our chest at him. You want some of this? So far, so good. There is rebels in the north. Just notice that. Nomad frontier. I don't care about your problems, Ming. Don't tell me. Don't tell me this kind of stuff. <laughs> don't show me that. Your problems are not my problems, Ming. So this 16,000 will definitely be needed for that 7,000 rebel. Ah, I got their navy. Good, good, good. How's this going? We have the we have the better admiral. Significantly, we dropped six of his galleys. You gotta go. And this is Huan. That's where we'll pick you up. And no rebels popping off. So far, so good. Japan's rebel free. I mean, this one little rebellion, or Oro Chono, whatever. Who cares? Minor rebellions. It's more. I just don't want them like. In my subjects' lands, on Japan, in the north. It's just too much. It's 
It's just too much. Can't handle that. Mm, that's their capital. Very good. That's the ticking war score. That's the mandate of heaven. Uh, yep. Again, I just want to keep the armies close together. Nice and close. Show that strength. Ah, oh, he moved off of my fort. That would have been the ideal place to have picked that fight. I want to make sure I have a uh, general on there. And we can get another idea group. That'll be our final... Yeah, I want that land attrition. Minus 10%. The land force limit modifier plus 50. I can't fill that at the moment. I don't have the manpower to fill that. So I, I care less about that. But the attrition will then let me build my manpower back up. I won't be just losing so many troops all the freaking time. Alright, we're at 21. White Elephant, what are you doing, bud? Go back and protect your land. That, that's really what you should be doing. Because I, I want to make sure you stay in this fight. The, the first World War Ming, the White Elephant was forced to seize to be my ally. It was saddening. It was quite saddening. Majaput loves me like maximum. Brunei, sure, let's make you love me more. Let me actually get to this four. No, we're stuck. Oh, I see 36. Where are you going with this 36? Okay, well, this is all the more reason to have my armies close to one another. Have all my armies just doing a little hug box together. Actually, I'm going to sit, run them up to, to running. I'm going to run them up to the, the province of running. Beautiful. And we'll bring this 14,000 right back down. Again, no, no other rebels to go deal with. He is attacking the white elephant. This is what I thought he would have been doing earlier. He's not wiping him, though. White elephant, come north to me, bud. Come north to me. It's safe up here in the north, man. Don't don't be down there. It's it's dangerous and cold and alone down there. You come up north where, with, with the Korean motherland and we'll protect you. Mother Korea will protect you. I promise you this. <laughs> Alright, where are you going with this 26,000? Where are you going? Again, I can reinforce here. And now that I have this 15,000, I feel a lot better um, separating. I'm going to actually just run this army right onto it. And then I'll get back to blocking this course, this coast. Because he's got, yeah, he's got 60,000 here right now. He's got very significant numbers. He's not, he's not playing games. He is not playing games at all. Where are you going with this? Coming north. So he's probably going to Zian, I would guess. I got a big stack right here. I'm not too afraid about the, oh, with the leader on there. I think I got I to gotta fall back and assist with Korchen here. Korchen, it would be cool if you just stayed on there. I'm going to let him know. I, that's where I would love you to stay. What province is this? Some bonus... I don't know if they're ever going to get there ever again, but we'll just take bonus defensiveness for the rest of the game. Sure, why not? Beautiful, beautiful. That is what we wanted. Another siege wall. Let's get our... Roll another general. I keep getting so many points in the movement. I mean, movement's okay. It's okay, but that's it. It's only okay. Get right to this next fort. It's a hill fort. So it would be a place where they would want to attack me. So I, 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 I'm rolling the dice here. I'm hoping that this 40 or 49, 50% falls quick. Yeah, it did. That's how. That's why I, I picked there. Knowing I'd be, I'd have this reinforcement. If all hell broke loose, if everything went wrong... I would have the reinforcements there still. And we want to force these navies out right away. So I, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to move right on to... Uh, no, that's the, the roundabout route. Excellent work. Some base tax. Yes, please. And we just step right off. We know this 32 is going to be pushed out to my 60 stack. Nice, nice, nice. What was that? That's a farmland. That's a desert in the north. Okay. Okay. Korchen, you know what? I'm gonna go and reinforce you, and if we get if we get attacked, we will defend together. We will hold the line together. We will absolutely hold the line. Twenty nine percent, eh? Even with this capital siege down, it seems like I should have a bit more war score. But I'm not gonna complain. I haven't really taken any battles against him. We're we're really doing okay here. We're really doing okay. Does he run some armies around me anywhere? No, I'm not seeing... He's getting away from me here. No, he really is focusing on the white elephant down there. When the white elephant's tossed from this war, that, that's when the score will just pop up. 
All right, and we got this naval battle going. Oh, I have no leader. I have no leader. What? Oh, big, big mistake on my part. Big mistake. I would have had way more, way more uh, losses for him. I did capture a heavy, so that's that's pretty nice. I'll take that. I accept, but I should have had this. And I even have a leader and everything. I just... Ah, oh, whoopsie-daisy. Whoopsie-daisy, we'll say. Hmm. I can run you to end king that way. I'll drop these buys, boys by C the other way. And I think this is a fine place for a cut. This war is going to go on for a little bit longer. And as it ends, it looks like I have manpower. So I may actually jump right on to my next one. So there'll be no uh, time lapse needed in between episodes. Thank you very much for making it to the end. Comment, like, all that great stuff. Let me know. How's your Korea going? Are you liking the newest expansion? So far, so good for me. No no AI breaks. No um, map breaks. Like, <laughs> you know, knock on wood. I, I, so far, so good. You have yourself a great day. Until next time, goodbye.